assalamu alaikum this is my second youtube video and in this video i will explain the allocation of profit or loss among the partners in a partnership firm partnership is one of the forms of business organization as already explained in my first video that partnership is formed with a profit motive and since there are more than one owner in partnership so profit will be shared on the basis of the agreement in the partnership deed or the agreement among the partners in this video i will explain common agreements used to allocate partnership net income or loss we will also talk about why salary allowances and interest allowances are used in partnership profits and losses partnership agreement should indicate how income and losses are allocated based on a fixed ratio that is if there are two partners they can agree to share profit and losses equally partners can agree to share profit and losses in the ratio of 30% and 70% or 40% and 60% it just depends upon how they agree to share profit and losses partners can agree to share profit and losses based on the capital balances it may be at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year as they agree upon partners can agree to share profit and losses based on the interest on capital investment and if you want to know more about it please refer my video number 1 partners can agree to allocate salaries or bonus as a percentage of income before they uh, distribute the profit among themselves or it may be a combination of all these different factors let us see how we are going to apply this in a example On January one to twenty twenty one, Nabiya and Abdullah formed Sara Accounting Consultancy Partnership with capital investments of seventy one and forty one thousand respectively. The partnership agreement provides that the profits are to be allocated as follows: annual salaries of twenty and fifteen are granted to Nabiya and Abdullah respectively. Abdullah is entitled for a bonus of ten percent. of net income after salaries and bonus but before interest on capital investment is subtracted so we will look into this this component how to calculate the bonus and we will take into account 10% of net income after salaries and bonus but before interest on capital investments Each partner is to receive interest credit of five percent on the original capital investment, and the original capital investment is seventy one and forty one thousand respectively. Remaining profits is to be allocated in the ratio of sixty percent and forty percent among the two partners. On December thirty one, twenty twenty one, the partnership reported net income before salaries, interest, and bonus of one hundred and fifty thousand. and the two partners has drawn 15 and 12000 uh, during the period so before we go for uh, for this exercise the first thing we need to do is let's calculate the bonus that is to pay bill to abdullah and let us see how we do that what has been said is that the bonus is 10% income after <coughs> salaries and bonus so we will be representing bonus by b that is 10% and the income was 150000 if you can remember and the cap salaries paid was Fifteen thousand and twenty thousand. That makes thirty-five thousand minus bonus. 
so b is equal to 10 percent of 115,000 minus b so b is equal to 11500 11, 11500 minus 0 0.1 b so b plus 0.1 b is 11500 or you can say that 1.1 b is equal to 11500 or b is equal to 11500 divided by 1.1 that will give you 10,454.55 and let us verify our calculation the net income was 150,000 and from this we will subtract the salaries and the bonus we have just now calculated salaries was 35,000 and the bonus we have calculated is 10,454.55 so the net income subject to bonus is 104,545 and 10% of this amount is the bonus and that is 10,454 so 10, 0.55 and that is what we have calculated before so we have calculated bonus correctly and let us go to the next step now you see uh, we are going to distribute or allocate the profit of 150,000 after we pay the salary bonus interest on capital to the partners in the question the salary was 20 and 15 that makes 35 bonus for abdullah was calculated on the previous slide interest is five percent on uh, five percent on the capital of nabia 71000 and 41000 for abdullah that makes 3550 and 2050 and so the total that they have allocated is 51,054 and the remaining profit to be distributed is 98,945 in the ratio of 60% and 40% and that's how the income has been allocated. Now what you can see that although we have paid salary, bonus and interest, when you calculate the income allocation, this is equal to the total profit that the firm has generated over the period now it is possible that once we have paid the salary bonus and interest on capital there is insufficient income to be distributed among the partners and let us see what is going to happen for example assume that nabia and abdullah agree to divide profit as follows they are now charging salary of 85,000 and 55,000. Interest is 25% on their average capital. Their capital was 71,000 and 41,000. And the remainder will be shared, distributed equally. And now they are not going to share in the ratio of 60, 40. So interestingly now there is no bonus. So we will, there is no need to go for that. And let us see what we do. The salary that is payable to the two partners is 85 and 55. Interest on capital is 25% uh, on the capital of Nabiya. Capital of Nabiya was 71 and for Abdullah it is 41,000 
and the interest now is 25 percent so, so the total to be paid is what this is what is going to be paid to the two partners and now the rim you can see that we have distributed more than what the profit is there so that means we there is a difference of eighteen thousand and their allotment has to be reduced now they this difference has to be distributed equally in the illustration so we are going to reduce the amount by nine thousand each and that's how the income is allocated again you can see that the total income allocated is equal to the income generated by the partnership firm uh, before we go ahead let me please note that salaries expenses or interest on capital or bonus are not expenses they are considered only to allocate profit among the partners and that's why they are not recorded in the income statement uh, this is important for you to keep keep in mind that salaries and uh, interest on capital and uh, bonus paid to the partners are not recorded as expense in the income statement so and why we do that the reason is that the person who may be reading the financial statement of the firm can properly evaluate the operating performance of the business or for the partnership firm it may be required to adjust income of prior year or years as the case may be and the problem in allocation of profit and loss can result if errors are discovered that occurred in a specific prior year and the partners have altered profit and loss agreements since period in which the error has occurred now since we cannot go back in the year error has occurred so we will calculate the error and adjust the capital accounts of the partners accordingly finally let us see how the partners capital account is going to look like at the end of the year 2021 you can see that there was no beginning capital balance their cap additional investment was 71 and 41 we have allocated the net income among the partners so the total is over here and then there is a drawing of 15,000 and 12,000 so the capital balance of at the end of the year 2021 is 138 917 and 96,082 for Abdullah that completes my explanation on allocation of profit and loss in a partnership firm if you have any question related to this topic please email me and inshallah i will reply you back happy learning thank you so much